are going to study a poem written by William Wordsworth and the title of this poem is Tables Turned. Tables Turned is written by William Wordsworth. He is a romantic poet. He is very popular for his nature poems. He is an adorer of nature. He worships nature. And for him, nature is a goddess. He treats nature as a teacher. So, in this poem, the poet tells us about modern man's materialistic attitude towards life. Materialistic means bhutikavada. Attitude means drishtikon. So, modern man has grown materialistic in his attitude towards life. Nowadays, we are so busy with our material world that we don't have time to go to nature. So, modern man is very busy with his material world, Bhutika Jagatu. He doesn't have any time to go to nature. As you know very well, Wordsworth is a nature poet. So, through this poem, the poet is trying to tell us the importance of nature in our life. So, in this poem, the poet is advising his friend who is reading books. He is so busy with his studies that he doesn't go to nature. And that's why he advises his friend to give up all his books. Stop reading, he says, and go to nature. He tells him to spend some time with nature because all his books are dull and barren. And if he does not go out, he may grow fat also. All his books are dull, nistej, barren, banjaravada. So, he is not in favor of bookish knowledge. So, he advises his friend to go to nature. He tells him that if he goes to nature, nature will double his knowledge. So, he should change his attitude towards nature. He tells him not to have a serious look on his face. He asks him why he looks so troubled and confused. Confused means gondala. According to him, the peace and tranquility that is found in nature cannot be found inside any book. So, as far as peace is concerned, peace, shanti, manas shanti, tranquility, prashantate, nemmadi. So, if you go to nature, you will enjoy peace of mind. And according to Wordsworth, in any book, you cannot find that peace of mind which is found in the company of nature. The knowledge which he will get from those books will be little and that if he spends his time with nature, he will gain more knowledge. Gain means padadu. So, if he spends his time with nature, he will gain more knowledge. So, instead of reading those books, he advises him that he should go to nature and spend his time with nature. According to the poet, nature is filled with, full of knowledge because it will not only give him knowledge but also it will enrich him with wisdom. So, if his friend goes to nature, he will not only gain knowledge, 
but also nature will enrich him with wisdom enrich means abhivriddhi padisu wisdom means jaan me so the poet is telling his friend that if he spends more time with nature he will always be fit and healthy nature will also teach him about humanity goodness and evilness then the poet describes the movement of the sun long green fields and tells him how the sun rays make those green meadows golden in the evening meadows means hullagavalu so the poet describes the movement of the sun long green fields and those sun rays make those green meadows golden in the evening the poet tells his friend that books are dull and drab the poet tells his friend that the books which he is reading they are dull in stage and drab nirasa so he should give up his reading and accompany him to nature to admire the beauty of nature so the poet is advising his friend the poet is telling his friend that he should come with him to admire the beauty of nature admire means matchu matchu ke nature is not only beautiful but also it is full of music hence he tells him to listen to the linnet linnet means a kind of a bird on the tarah the pakshi linnet sings very melodious songs the song of linnet will make you happy the music of throstle another type of bird on the tarah the pakshi is nicer and sweeter than the preachy lessons that are found in his books so he tells his friend to listen to the music of linnet thrussel because they are very nice they are very sweet the music is very sweet it is sweeter than the preachy lessons preachy means upadeshatmak preachy lessons that are found in his books the poet compares the preachy lessons found in books with that of the music found in nature so there is a comparison between the preachy lessons and the music found in nature according to him nature's music is always very sweet and nice and the books which the poet's friend is reading they are very preachy and boring telejet hiriyodu boring means hence he urges his friend to observe the things the real world that exists around him so he is appealing his friend he is telling his friend to observe the things the real world that exists around him he pleads his friend to let nature be his teacher because nature around us is full of knowledge and teachings so he is telling his friend to treat nature as his teacher because nature is full of knowledge and teachings nature is the best thing to bless anyone's heart so nature is the best thing to bless anyone's heart it will fill one's heart with health and wisdom so nature will fill one's heart with health 
and wisdom it it will fill one's heart with cheerfulness and joy cheerfulness means ullasa joy santosha so nature will fill your heart with cheerfulness and joy then the poet tells his friend that one element of nature may teach him more about man his morality of evilness and goodness that all the sages can sages means rishi guru morality naitikate so according to the poet one element of nature may teach us more about human beings more about man man's concept of morality about evilness and goodness so he says one impulse from a vernal wood may teach you more of man of moral evil and of good than all the sages can impulse means prerna nature nature can bring sweet feelings and expressions to human mind and soul so according to william wordsworth nature brings sweet feelings and expressions to our mind and soul it will certainly bring peace to our mind because today we have lost our peace of mind due to our knowledge and intellect the poet is of the opinion that we spoil kadiso the beautiful things by using our knowledge and intellect so william wordsworth says that because of our knowledge because of our intellect because of our reasoning because of our analysis because of our dissection we are spoiling the beautiful things we try to dissect the things to find their meanings and purposes and spoil the whole beauty beauty of those things so we try to dissect dissection means vishleshis so we try to analyze the things to find their meanings and purposes artha hago uddesha and what happens we spoil the beauty by using our reasoning intellect we analyze the things and spoil its beauty that's why he says we murder to dissect we just spoil all that is beautiful by using our intellect reasoning and knowledge again the poet advises his friend that he needs to stop with his theories of art and science he tells his friend to close all his difficult and barren books that are not productive at all he asks him to come forward with his eyes heart and other senses open he appeals him to come forward with his eyes heart and other senses gnanendriya open and enjoy the beauty of nature if you want to enjoy the beauty of nature you have to be open minded that's why he says that his friend should open his heart he should open his heart and learn from what he has seen and heard around him in the company of nature so through this particular poem william wordsworth tells us about the importance of nature in everyone's life we have to spend our time with 
nature because nature is a teacher nature is a goddess that we should worship because we can learn so many things from nature i hope all of you have understood thank you for watching we'll meet again